Remember that fine feed clutch I built for my minimal? It's been working like a charm. And I know a lot of you have built one yourselves. Under normal conditions, it is rock solid. The head moves smoothly and the clutch bites just as it should. But after using it for a while, I noticed something. The moment I put the tool under real pressure, like drilling a large hole, the clutch sometimes slips. Only a little, but that tiny bit of slip is enough to throw off the depth and ruin the accuracy. The clutch can be tightened hard enough using the built-in Allen bolt, but honestly, I never have the key when I need it. So today, I am upgrading my own design with a simple improvement. It makes the clutch lock tight without me ever having to reach for an Allen key. The issue really comes down to pressure. In any clutch, the two faces have to press together firmly to hold torque. That's why many industrial machines use tapered cones and a spring. The shape concentrates pressure and locks itself tight. But on a minimal, there is no space for something so elaborate. My design used two flat surfaces. The hub of the downfit wheel on one side and my custom clutch on the other. Add a thrust bearing and a brass thumb wheel and it works most of the time. But here's the catch. By hand, I can only tighten that thumb wheel so much. For small cutters or light drilling, that's fine. But for big drills or when I really need accuracy, I've had to cheat, tightening it with an Allen key. The Allen key works, but let's be honest again. How often do you actually stop mid-cut, dig through your tool tray and find the right sized key? Exactly, almost never. Half of the time, I just cranked the brass wheel as tight as I could and hoped for the best. Sometimes it helped, sometimes it slipped, and every time it slipped, accuracy went out of the window. So I started thinking, instead of carrying an Allen key every time, why not build leverage into the thumb wheel itself? That way, the tool is always there, built in. The inspiration came straight from the downfeed wheel. Look at those spokes. Easy to grab, plenty of torque. If I could give my thumb wheel its own little spokes, I'd have a built-in way to tighten it properly. No tools needed. First, I turned four spokes for null steel and cut in seven threads on the end. Then I removed the brass thumb wheel and mounted it on the rotary table, tilted about 20 degrees. That angle matches the slope of the downfit wheel spokes. So once these are installed, they'll sit naturally under my fingers, comfortable to grip and consistent with the rest of the Moss's design. I milled a small flat on the first spot to help the drill start through and where the spoke can be seated. Then spot it, drill and tap the first hole.
This fit looks good, though I forgot to add flats for a spanner, so I'll do that later. Then I drilled and tapped the remaining three holes, turning the rotary table 90 degrees each time. At one point, the rotary table shifted a bit. Not ideal, but this is a workshop, not a showroom. I decided to leave it. The offset might look hot, but the function is what matters. With all four holes done, I test fitted the spokes. That is with the rotary table shifted, but it feels good and a good grip is all that matters. Next, I mold flats on each spoke so I can tighten them with a 7mm spanner. And here's the result. Four steel spokes screwed into the brass thumbwheel at a comfortable angle. Now, tightening the clutch takes almost no effort. The spokes give just enough leverage to bite down hard. No more weak tightening, no more digging around for an Allen key. Best of all, accuracy stays perfect even when drilling under heavy load. One small change, big improvement. Now I've got a clutch that locks solidly with just my fingers. If you've built the original clutch, this little upgrade might be worth adding. Check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen. See you in the next project.